In this video I'm going to show you a local fair in Mexico, in the middle of nowhere, I'm the most beautiful woman in Mexico. You are watching TEDx TV and today I'm going to show you the festival in Tlatelpanta. This is uh, the first time today I make this. This is a town that is located in the middle of nowhere, not so far from Mexico City. If you're interested in watch this, stick around. And as you can see, there is the cops here. I don't know what they're doing there. I think that this must, must be interesting. Well, this place is uh, not so far from Mexico City, it's probably around two hours, not so far from the downtown. However, this is not a tourist place because this doesn't have any tourist attraction. So I'm completely sure that this is the first video that you will see about this town. Needless to say it, but you will never see a tourist here. And as you can see, this thing already started. I cannot see where, where I can come inside. However, I'm starting to hear a lot of noise. I don't know if this video will be demonetized. So I think that I'm gonna turn off the audio, the rest of the video, and put everything in voice enough in the post production. And as you can see here, there is a lot of police here, there is a lot of cops in this location. I don't know why, but I assume that, that this is because this event will be really big. So hopefully, we're gonna watch something interesting here. As you can see, I finally arrived at this place. And you can hear a lot of noise here. As I told you before, I think that I'm gonna turn, on, turn off the audio and record everything in the post production. And today in El Conde, that is considered the most beautiful woman in Mexico will be singing here, she's a famous singer, she, she plays uh, country music, something like that. I don't know at what hour, because they didn't write in, in the website at what time she will be here, but I assume that not this moment, because as you can see it's completely empty this, but they have a uh, fireman here. Just in case that something happened, uh, but as you can see, the road is uh, extremely bad. Uh, there is a couple of, of people selling things, uh, crossing, crossing that. I don't want to cross that. I actually think that um, that's the best occasion to make a festival. But um, yeah, this is the first time, so everyone makes mistakes. Everyone learns from that. And probably the next one will be will be better. Yeah, just imagine that someone, uh, that one car come here really fast and just just throw all the mud in, in you. <laughs> also, another thing that I want to mention is that there is a lot of dogs here. It's a homeless dog. Street dog! And it's a serious problem, at least in Mexico. There are billions of dogs living in the streets and no one cares about them. I think that the solution is just to uh, kill them. But uh, the people in Mexico 
don't take any action to fix that. But who knows what is the solution? Maybe fit them? Maybe... I don't know. It's, uh, it's something really difficult to talk about that I have seen in different places in Mexico that they become a serious threat uh, killing all, all the local animals. Um, especially in Bacalar, in Quintana Roo. It was horrible what I saw that, where the dogs uh, were extremely sick, uh, extremely thin, with a lot of diseases. So I think that it's not fair from them, it's not fair from the rest of the human. As you can see here, uh, the people are selling food uh, without any regulation. And I think this is not uh, a really good option. Uh, we food here, as you can see here, there's a lot of street dogs, a lot of mud. And obviously, um, they don't follow any any health regulation. So you will probably get sick. But um, yeah, it's, it's your option, it that or not. And I would not buy anything here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there is uh, the police in just in the center of that. It's a gondola. I'm really impressed that if this works. Just imagine the gates in that gondola. And now got got this the tower. I think this is the tower that you watch at the beginning of the video. Because it looks really similar. But I'm not completely sure. I think that that, that attraction is, is, is really good. You just imagine the kids uh, playing there. I don't know if, if that worked, but I think this is something cool. And what we have here is uh, a carousel. And as you can see, it's uh, completely empty, this place, no one is here. Um, I think that maybe in the night this will be uh, completely full of people. But because uh, I'm using a GoPro, the GoPro doesn't have a lot of good quality when it's using in, in the night or without uh, light. So I think that I would not come in the night. I'm not living so far from here, but this is this is enough for me. I'm not really interested in, in watch um, in El Cande. You can you can do that in YouTube. You only write the name of of the singer, and that's all. It's exactly the same experience. But one thing that I didn't like about this is that. They are using a lot of resources from from the people just to make this. And it's just a waste of money. Because the government of this state is is doing this thing. Used to hire a lot of different singers and that they spent a lot of money plus all the organization and all the things that you can see it is. But the main problem is that they don't regulate anything. As you can see here, uh, there is someone selling food uh, this road and you will probably get a serious disease here, maybe a diphtheria, a worm in your in your in your belly. Who knows what happened if you eat the food that the people are selling here? And this happened uh, almost everywhere in Mexico. So they think that they think that this is normal, and they simply don't care. However, this is this is all. This is what it is. Maybe in the night this will be more funny, but. This hour is almost uh, 6 p.m. and there is nothing and there is no one here and I think that I think this is not a really good location to to make that that festival. But as you can see in this park, there are people um, doing the their normal activities. They are running and I think that something good, you know, that they didn't uh, stop everything just to make that. Like uh, blocking the decks. I am a big fan of Walton Punk Road, Harold Bolt, um, Tangerine Travels, Cal Rock. That's why I decided to make a, a video really similar to them. So please subscribe to my channel because 
the next month I will be in Alberta and I will make a couple of videos in Banff, in the Rocky Mountains, maybe Lake Louise. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will really appreciate that. Bye!